Hey friend, and welcome to Perfect Periods, the place where we discuss how to navigate different periods of life while perfecting our actual period. What, like it's hard? I'm your host, fertility awareness educator, Barry on Barry, but you can call me Barry. Here, you'll be educated, equipped, and empowered with all the tools, knowledge, and resources you need to master your cycle so you can master your life. Now grab your favorite beverage and maybe a notebook and let's dive right on in. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode. Listen, I am so stoked for today's episode because y'all are finally going to meet Lauren and Catherine 2.0 from Semaine Health. Now, in case you are new here, basically Semaine Health launched in 2020, okay? I have been recommending it since 2020, and these women are just so incredible, but they're also friends of mine. So like, you can tell by the way that we are going through the interview and like the discussions we're having and like just how we interact. Like, you can tell, like, We're really good friends and I'm just excited for you all to get to know them the way that I know them because I think that, you know, in the wellness space, you hear so many different recommendations, so many products thrown at you and sometimes people want to know who's behind a product and a brand before they purchase it and I know that's how I am so like this is just me bringing you on the journey that I've had with them. Now, before we jump into that, let me say a few things. One, shout out to you all for really loving my unpopular opinion about cycle syncing. Like y'all really came through and I am, I shouldn't be shocked, but I am shocked. The reason I shouldn't be shocked is because y'all are ride or dies, but I am shocked because I just feel like everybody's so sensitive right now that like, I forget that like you are my people, right? So, you know, thank you so much for the love and support. Number two. Okay. Listen, I have been a Semaine stand since the day it launched, right? My code is Barry 20. So any of the products you hear mentioned in today's episode or just maybe you're following them on Instagram, right? Or on TikTok. You can always use my code B-E-R-R-I 20 to save at checkout on your first purchase. But the last thing I want to share is take what you need, leave what you don't when it comes to this episode. We are talking not only about Semaine, right? But we're talking about some of those tough conversations um, that make people a little uncomfortable. You know, we talk about how political periods actually are and, you know, our approaches to things as individuals, but also as business owners. And this is what I would argue is probably the most candid conversation you're going to hear on the podcast to date. Uh, So keep that in mind. And without further ado, let's dive right on in. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Perfect Periods. Today, we're here with quite literal legends, Lar and Kath of Smaine. Welcome to the show. Thank Thank you, Barry. We love being here. I am so excited to have you back because I was, as I was like prepping for this interview, I was like, I think this might be my most loyal, like affiliate partnership I've ever had. Like the longest one and like the one where like everyone sees it. So I'm so grateful you're here. Um, I want to kick things off by asking you both the same question. What period of life are you in and what are you loving about it? Oh, and feel free to introduce yourselves. I'm really assuming everyone knows who you guys are. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Um, yes, so I'm Lar. Kath is on here too. We are twin sisters. We started a company together with my husband called Semaine Health. You might have heard it from Barry. And um, it is a supplement company to help address women's hormonal issues. So everything from PMS pain to uh, menopause hat flashes to UTIs. And now we have a pre and probiotic, which is like my new favorite thing ever. Um, so all of our all of our supplements are plant-based 
plant-based, all natural, 100% vegan. Um, and we also clinically study them. So we use a third-party lab to make sure that um, they're just as effective as you want them to be. You know, they're plant-based and they work. And that's super, super important to us. Not all supplement companies do clinical trials because they're expensive. You don't know what the results will be. Um, and a lot of people just don't have the capacity to do it. So it's really, really exciting. We get to do that. The other co-founder, my husband, is a scientist. We know Dr. Matt. And he's the one that does with the mustachio. He's the one that um, is the science brains behind Samane. And personally, I can't live without our PMS and period support. That is my lifesaver. And I don't say that lightly. If I didn't have that, I would be in severe pain almost every month of my period. If I didn't have that and Barry's tips, Barry's wisdom to how to survive my period, I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it. What phase are you in, Lara? Well, at phase, I, I am calling this my transition phase. I don't know if that's like a, I mean, I feel like everybody can hit that at different times of their lives, but Kath and I are both 39. We will be 40 in July, which just blows my mind because I think for everybody who gets older, you're like, I'm still 25 in my head. And uh, no, apparently not. Um, and I really feel like there's a lot of shifts that you know happen with your body. Of course, I am not entering perimenopause yet, but um shifts that happen with your body. Your body's changing. It's getting older. I do a lot of gua sha now, you know? Um, but the transition is really happening mentally, I think. I feel 2022 was tough. It was tough as a small business owner. It was tough just personally. Kath and I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, tough coming out of pandemic. I mean, that's been hard for everybody. But the transition that I feel is really shifting mentally. I feel like some clarity is coming. Some expansiveness is coming after a year and a half of really feeling sort of like just trying to get through day-to-day -day grind. So I'm really excited about it. I feel like I'm in the same phase, definitely a transition, but if I wanted to put like a minstrel phase to my life phase that I am, I feel like I am at the tail end of a minstrel phase. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's good. We're coming up for air. I, yes. I think I'm transitioning out of it. Like I've had to spend a lot of time and will continue to do so, like listening to my body, um, trying to figure out what it needs. I, I do think a lot of that was triggered by the pandemic, but also starting a company um, and just like figuring out what that meant. Because I, I do think Laura and I were very realistic starting Samane that this was going to be incredibly hard. And even given that, I could not have predicted how hard it would be. Um, to be fair, did not predict us launching a company like literally the same month the pandemic um, kicked off <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> but um, so I think it's only fair to say that, you know, it's it's not been the easiest phase, but it does feel like a transition phase. Um, we're both working nomadically. So I feel like that's like, um, that's been something that we always kind of dreamed of as entrepreneurs. So this things are looking up. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As related to our period, I would say we have been since the end of 2021 in our luteal and menstrual phase. And now we're becoming follicular. That's how I feel. I love how you tied in the menstrual cycle to that. Cause now I'm going to make everyone do that moving right? forward. Cause normally I'm just like, what period of life are you in? Like if you had to give it, you know, and then like the tie-in of the cycle, like I'm here for this. Okay. I think it can apply to so much like, you know, like seasons yes, of our know. life. You, you know, <laughs> I appreciate the choir. <laughs> Okay. So I have like so many questions for you, but so Samane really started with the PMS and period support. She is that B-I-T-C-H. I've learned that there's moms who listen. And so I try to not <laughs> swear as much. <laughs> and I feel like ever since that one product came out, had it was like solo for like a year, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. a year and a half. A year and a half it's been like boom 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 expansion growth development was that part of the vision like did you anticipate doing that um I have to, when we launched Maine in 2020 honestly it wasn't like we the PMS and period support is what started this all because of Kath and I having endometriosis, not finding something to help with our period pain, um, you know, very severe pelvic pain too, you know, not just cramps and bloating. Um, and so that was, that was like the goal was to make this product that I had been testing since 2018 on my periods 
into something we could help share with the world so other people wouldn't have painful periods. And so we, as a company, we knew we wanted to grow, but we didn't know what that would entail. We didn't know if that would mean, you know, there are companies out there that just have one or two products or one product with a different formulation. Um, But what was amazing is we listened to our community. And as we brought out you know, our PMS and period support, we'd hear people who'd say, oh, you know what? I don't really have period pain, but like my hormones are weird. And like, I don't know why on this part of my cycle, I feel this way, or I don't have a lot of energy, or I get cravings at certain parts of my cycle. And that's how our second product, the Daily Hormone Balance came about. So um, every single product since then has come about because we're hearing more pain points that women are experiencing on a daily basis at every stage of their life. And really looking for answers that they're not finding in big pharma or um, at their doctors. The way that like the brand has developed has changed, like, I'm assuming drastically, but also like y'all didn't go through the slow growth. Y'all didn't go through the bamboo. We did it. (laughs) Y'all just went, what's up? And so, (laughs) you know, Kath, I would love to hear from you, like, what's been one of your favorite parts of this like journey, this evolution of Sinead? One of the surprising things is how wonderful the community is. I mean, you see it very, but I, my background's in government and government's not the most popular institution. (laughs) And so I was, I was very used to like, not working in a job that people didn't love. And so when we knew we were going to have customer service issues, we knew that was going to be a big chunk of it. And that is what I spend a lot of my day doing. I remember just being like, like putting on the armor and being like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Just like bring it, like, just tell us what it is. And I would say like, even today, as we've grown, I would say 95% of the customer um, interaction of the interactions we have on Instagram and all social media actually has been so positive and so supportive. And this is including people who have gone through horrific things health-wise, you know, and continue to do so and are so desperate to find something. And it's been so wonderful having these kind of one-on-one conversations with customers or hearing from customers saying how much our products have changed their lives or how much it's helped their daughters. And it's like, like we knew, we knew starting this company that we weren't the only ones, you know, going through this, but to like hear how much they've helped. uh, We have a lot of customers with PMDD and they talk about how like they could not function that week before their period because of the extreme mood swings. Like they just felt like they were going crazy and now they feel quote unquote normal that week. Like, whereas like doctors are just like, oh, here, have some antidepressants and hopefully that'll work. And sometimes it does. Sometimes that's like perfect. That works for you. But a lot of times it doesn't work for women. And it's like, I think our whole goal in this to help women feel better, it really starts with making them feel heard because so much of our experiences um, with health and with the medical community um, and just wellness in general has been, has kind of created the sense that women are ignored and we want to do the opposite. Wow. Okay. So many things I like want to say, and it's like hard because like I know you all so well. So I'm just kind of like, blah, 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 like talking to my friends, but I'm also just like, most people don't know them like this. I got to slow down and peel back the layers. So one of the reasons I wanted to make sure we got to do like a refresh of Samin here on the podcast is because March is Endometriosis Awareness Month. For those of you listening in real time, hey, happy March. Um, but second, you know, When you think of the must-have products for the woman dealing with endo specifically, I have three in mind, but I would love for y'all to like kind of tell us and then maybe why you think these are like the ride or die. So whoever wants to answer. Woo! Okay. Um, I will kick it off, but Kath, jump in if you're like, no, actually, I think. So definitely. I'm so curious to see if like our three are the same. (laughs) I think... 
I think they will be the same. Yes. I definitely think, I definitely think our PMS and period support, I mean, that was created for our, for our endo pain. It is specifically an anti-inflammatory, a plant-based anti-inflammatory. So a lot of other wonderful period supplements usually have sort of traditional Chinese medicine components in it, which are wonderful. Um, but they're, uh, they're targeting your, your sex hormones, like estrogen, progesterone, et cetera. We really wanted to get to the root of a lot of pelvic pain, which is inflammation. Those of us, not just with endometriosis, but with dysmenorrhea, which is the clinical sort of umbrella term for painful periods have higher levels of inflammation in our bodies and in our pelvis, especially during our luteal phase. So, um, we were like, we really need to lower inflammation. And when I say we, I mean, Dr. Matt Crane, he He's the one who was like, let's target inflammation. I was like, okay, whatever works, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And I, as, as a, someone who has always had painful periods and then was diagnosed with endo when I was 30, I had just taken massive amounts of ibuprofen for decades, essentially, you know, since my first period when I was 12, 13. Um, and because of that, my stomach lining was completely shot. I could no longer take ibuprofen, even if I eat a big meal or do all the things, it doesn't matter. My body is just like, nope, we don't do that anymore. And um, I was in the kind of pain where I needed something. I mean, it wasn't the kind of thing where you're like, I'll just power through it. There was no powering through. And so really we started with the PMS and period support because I wanted something that wasn't harming my body and could actually hurt, help me with the severe pain that I was experiencing. So definitely, definitely, definitely PMS and period, period support is my ride or die. That's like, I, even if for some reason, some main closed tomorrow, I would still make Matt sit at the table and make me these capsules because, <laughs> because I need them. Um, the second, the second, uh, product I would do is definitely our daily hormone balance. That one, I feel like we hear that more often, even from our, our endo customers, that one helps them so, so much. And I think it's because it is sort of like an overall superpowered multivitamin is like how we like to say it. The PMS and period support, you take it as you need it. You don't have to take it all month long, but the daily is for daily consumption to help with your hormones and specifically with your metabolic hormones. I think a lot of us, you know, when we think about unbalanced hormones, we just think about our sex hormones, but we have so many hormones in our body. Cortisol is a hormone, insulin is a hormone, you know, and, and all of our hormones sort of affect each other. So when something is out of whack, uh, other things are going to be out of whack. So I really think the the daily hormone balance helps people cycle over cycle. You know, it's not just something to target extreme pain. It's to help your cycle in the long run. And even if you're no longer having a cycle, so a lot of endometriosis patients can still have pain, even after they're heading into perimenopause and menopause, you still need that hormonal balance and that hormonal support. So I would definitely say the daily. And then the third one I would say is our pre and probiotic oh for God. women. I kid yes. you not, those are all three that I recommend it. <laughs> so confirmation. I oh my gosh. It's, it's, and seriously, we did that one because we talk about period poops a lot and um, period poops for those that don't know, it's like you experience constipation and diarrhea around your cycle, around your period. Um, so we talk about that a lot and people are like, wait, what? Yes, I totally experienced that. What can I do about that? And that's why we built the pre and probiotic. But it's also for people who are at any stage of life, because we all have gut issues, specifically for endometriosis patients, um, a very common comorbidity with endometriosis is IBS, which Kath and I both have. Um, and so we really were looking for something to help with our gut health. And the prebiotic in it is fiber. A lot of us don't get enough fiber in our diet. And it, that's something that feeds the, the great good gut bacteria in your body as you're putting those new probiotics in. And then we also have ginger, which to me is like the star ingredient of that gut health product, because um, oftentimes people get really good probiotics, but they tend to mess up their digestive system a little bit or make them feel nauseated. The ginger helps that. The ginger allows you to get all of that good gut bacteria in without making you feel nauseated, which is the last thing you want, especially if you have endo or painful periods. Wow. Okay. Cass, are you in agreement with this? Are we all in Absolutely. alignment with each other on yes. like the three? Like, okay. We do have, we do have some endo friends who I think they would say their third one is the urinary tract and cleanse because a lot of our endo friends have either they get common um, frequent UTIs or they have um, IC interstitial cystitis. I always mispronounce that. Um, and in our 
cranberry phytosome in our urinary tract cleanse and protect really helps with that. But because I am an IBS girly, the pre-pro is my third. And I think for me, I'm always recommending the pre-pro just because I do believe the gut health is like just so important and like we're mm-hmm. constantly doing things all day to like not really aid our gut. I mean, I am like, this, yes. is, this is coffee with like medicinal mushrooms in it because it's like a tremella and chaga, but it's still coffee. Right. That's not really the most gentle thing oh, at 2.22 p.m., <laughs> but like, it, like, you know, like I know what's going to happen after, um, but wow. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. April will actually be my first month of doing all Sumane and only Sumane products. Oh, oh my God. New, I'm testing out a new multivitamin right now just to like have other recommendations, but I'm like, April's the month I get to like just test one brand. And I'm Woo-hoo. so excited because the daily is the main one. I'm like the daily and the pre and probiotic because people have said to me like in my DMs, very you take the seed probiotics, Samane just released their pre and probiotic. I take the Samane daily. And then I'm immediately like, then take the Samane pre and probiotic. They're like, (laughs) why? Like, why would you recommend that as opposed to this one? And I'm like, because it's already designed to go well and complement the additional like supplements that they have. It's kind of like, Mm -hmm. I don't know why people like to like pick and choose different skincare from different brands. Stay with one line. It's all hormones guys. Like, yeah. Anyways, I digress. I love doing that. Okay. My next question for you all is what should we expect next? You know, like it feels as if you have an entire product line, you're solving all of these problems already, which we love, like keep solving them. And let me just say, I'm so grateful. I trust you all because people be coming up with new stuff every, (laughs) I'm just like. There's there's a lot of stuff out there for sure. And I don't know, I mean, I'm sure you guys have talked about this. Kath and I have talked about this. Matt and I have been talking about this. We were looking at ads yesterday, like such a big thing around vaginal smell. Like it's so weird to me that quote unquote fixing your smell. And it's not that to me, it's not like, of course, people are going to have questions about that and want to know more, but I hate that it's packaged as shame. Like you, you quote unquote smell bad and you have to cover it up with a supplement or a wash. And, um, this is, I, this, this is just spitballing. We are not creating a vaginal wash or a supplement, <laughs> for men. but it's so interesting yeah. to me that I feel like a lot of pain points that people tend to sell center around shaming the female body specifically. Cause it's still the patriarchy. <laughs> We're still I, I, I like, what I love is like how different our views are on so many different things, but also how aligned they are. Like, I remember the whole Spain thing and I'm like, wait, is this gender equity? Cause like in full transparency, there are so many things that I don't understand so many layers. And I'm like, yes, but also like, it's complicated and it's nuanced, especially, you know, cause we use the term women, we've gone back and forth. Uh, we've used women X before and cause we want to use whatever is the most inclusive. If someone identifies as a woman, if someone was born as a woman, if they're still, if they identify as a man, but they're still getting their period, we want you to feel comfortable taking our products, but there still isn't that magic word that seems to like encompass everything. So trust us, we're like, that's, that's like step one for us. And I feel like there's so many other layers that we're constantly working on as, as a, a health and wellness company. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And menstrual leave. Yeah, exactly. That's super nuanced. And I think it's so exciting that we are making that progress, even if it's not perfect, you know, even if it's not exactly where we need to be and talk about the nuance of the situation being like, does that have any issues or impact on, on female employees down the line? And also the fact that, um, yeah, equity means that everybody gets to like be at the same level. It doesn't mean someone gets ahead or someone gets something else, but because certain people don't have to experience that pain on a monthly basis. Now we're just making sure everybody's up at the same level. It's so, it's so fascinating. I love it. Trying to, trying to, you know, the discourse. So what I did, I mean, listen, we know I'll stir the pot and not give those (laughs) stats about how people feel, but 
I just wanted to open up the conversation to really hear people's thoughts. Cause I'm like, I know where I stand on this because I take my menstruation vacation and I don't care what anybody has to say. Yep. I'm also an entrepreneur, but also like there's so many of these different layers. So seeing the discourse people had like the comments section, like I could tell when people were pissed with me based on the comment I could tell when people were like no this is like a valid question and yeah I think I understand where she's coming from I could tell when like people were just like I really want to talk about my period and I'm just like this is so interesting like I might do this once a month just because the engagement's so good like I I didn't reply to anybody's comment I just left the comments open and I was like floodgates are open how am I like because I know where I stand and like you know even with the inclusive language for me, it's always been like, I'm a girl's girl. I am woman. And I do love to say menstruators. And I try to be mindful of that whenever Mm -hmm. I need to be. But as long as if you identify as a woman, I don't care if that means you're trans, like for me, like, and that's just because of like my personal like stance on it. Like I like being called a woman. I know I won't really trigger too many women. (laughs) But those who are transitioning, who don't identify, I'm not for you. And it's not that I don't like you. I just want you to know, you don't like this term. Don't be here. Like it's going to happen because I'm not going to ignore what I identify as. Yeah. So that that is so cool. And so exciting. And I hope like the the conversations we're having now about equity and language and all those things, I hope that keeps moving forward. I think that that keeps happening. You know, that's what we need to have. It doesn't mean we all agree or on the same page right now. And that's okay. It's as long as we're having those conversations and being inclusive with who we're inviting to those conversations. I think that's, that's a key. And Mm -hmm. I think, you know, the documentary kind of it talks about that. It also talks about the taboo surrounding our cycles, mm-hmm. the tampon mm-hmm. tax and yeah. things like that. I remember saying to someone like, I'm going to do my best to use the word menstruator, but if I don't, and I say girls or women, or I will like read the room and see how everyone identifies charges to my head, not my heart, because it's not my intention, but I also am a creature of habit and people like respond it really well, but that's not that's not the point friends. The point is like, I love watching you all pull all of this. in. so, you know, again, what do you see happening for some next? Like what, I mean, are we getting the merch? Cause I definitely think that hat is. Uh, yeah. Yes, um, I mean, it totally absolutely, is. I mean, absolutely. absolutely. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's super exciting. Our goal is always if, if, if the mood takes us. And really what I mean is like, if our community is asking for it, um, our goal is to always come out with about two to three new products a year because we know the demand is there. People are looking for solutions. And like we said, we started with a period product, now have a menopause product, a UTI product, a gut health product. Um, And so what we can reveal, the next new thing is actually just a bigger size of the pre and probiotic in our eco-friendly aluminum jars, which I'm super excited about. Um, Just as a small company, you know, we have to sort of baby step our way into manufacturing. Like if anybody ever wants to talk about the business side of things, we can deep dive into that because that's how we spend most of our days. Um, So we will be coming out with our bigger size of the pre-pro, which people have been asking for and we're so excited to do. They started asking for that on day one because we came out with a a 20 yeah. I saw the yeah. I was like, this is cute, guys, but we need bigger. <laughs> like- so So we love our eco-friendly aluminum bottles. They are amazing. They're beautiful. They take six months to make. So that is why we came out with the blister. They come from South America. And so (laughs) so if there's any like like, a global disputes, um, like there always are, there's usually issues getting them definitely less than six months. That would be amazing if we could get them less than six months ahead of time. So fun. Yeah, so fun. And then um, one thing that we've recognized with our PMS and period support is that a lot of our customers are actually moms or dads of teenage daughters. And um, we recognize not everybody can swallow a capsule easily and that um, we're looking at different form factors for the PMS and probably tweaking the ingredients just slightly so that it can be something if somebody for some reason doesn't want a capsule and doesn't doesn't need something for like severe pain, but just has more moderate pain 
we're thinking gummy, we're thinking drink, we're thinking lots of things because we really want to be able to reach people who are like, uh, I'm just starting my period. This is not fun, but I also don't want to be taking eight capsules a day or something like that. So um, we're probably going to be working on form factor. And then the third product this year will be something entirely new. And what's really important to us too is to make sure we're reaching people at every stage of their life and not excluding people, you know, who, um, again, this is, this is, this is inclusivity, but in the healthcare space, it's super important because especially for women, um, and especially women of color, uh, you know, you've been blown off for centuries, you know, so it's like trying to recognize what are the pain points for women specifically. And a lot of them have to do, um, with inflammation, with hormone changes, but with inflammation, with pain, because women by far are the ones that are getting diagnosed with autoimmune diseases, for instance, and everything is all connected. Um, and the fact that a lot of the issues that we face, whether it's hot flashes, period pain, autoimmune diseases are often not treated with the same kind of um, intensity and research as other things because, oh, it's just women. It's just part being a part of being a woman and it's the quality of life issue. Like you're, you're not necessarily going to die from period pain. Now as an endo person, I can tell you that <laughs> that doesn't seem true. <laughs> you want, you want to die from the period. <laughs> but um, it's, it's interesting because women do tend to live longer than men. And part of that is because we're estrogen. So even though you might hate your hormones, sometimes estrogen is a beautiful thing. It helps lower inflammation. It is amazing. Um, it also lets us live longer than men, but women by far have a worse quality of life overall than men will. And we're trying to fix that paradigm, right? Because quality of life is everything. If you can't live your life to the fullest and feel your best. What's the point of living longer if it's not a good life, if it's not a healthy life, if you feel like you're not heard, if you're dismissed and you're not treated um, seriously, that's not a good quality of life. Exactly. And that's sort of like our driving impetus. So that the rest of our very brand new supplements will all be based around that. Okay. So I have so much to say. First, uh, special request. If you all do do a gummy, can you make sure it actually works? And I say that with love, but I have a personal, like a deep dislike for gummies because I really don't think the bioavailability is actually Mm. there and Mm -hmm. the nutrients actually get to our cells. And it's just like, what the Okay. Okay. Barry, this is so important because same, same, right. We don't make anything that's not effective. A lot of the ingredients that we use are are made uh, as a phytosome, which means each molecule is wrapped in a fat. So it is absorbed into your system. That's why a lot of the times that people take just random supplements and if they give you stomach cramps, um, you can tell that that's just going straight through your body and your body's not absorbing it. Um, So it's really important that bioavailability is really important. And I totally agree. I feel like gummies, often they're just sort of like sugary tasting candy that don't necessarily do anything. That is not what we're aiming for. Um, We are going to make sure our um, phytosome is still in the ingredients we're putting in our gummy. The key is that we have to make sure manufacturing processes get very, very hot and would usually kill things that make things bioavailable. So that's something to think about with the gummy with us. We'll make sure it's a colder process so that bioavailability is still there. So that's what we're testing right now. (laughs) Thank you. The reason I'm saying that is because I've had two brands reach out to me. They've promoted PMS gummies and I've just been like, thank you so much, but I'm going to pass on this because I don't believe gummies work. And like, I said it just like that. And they were like, oh, Okay. So that's why I'm like, guys, if you come out with one, it's got to work. Um, well, and we also like, we held off doing a gummy for a long time or a different form yeah. factor for exactly that reason. I was like, a gummy can't work. Like, it's just something that's sort of like, um, you know, a placebo that makes you feel better. Cause you're like, I'm chewing something and it's fun. I'm doing something good for me. But again, it was like listening to our customers and hearing that their pain point was they couldn't swallow a capsule and they didn't want a drink stick. So it's like the next thing was a chewable or a gummy. Gosh, this is such a good conversation. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like, there's so many different ways we can go right now, but I also want to be mindful of time. Yes. Yes. So with that being said, where can we find you all on the interwebs? Like we don't already know. (laughs) Everyone listening has already tried Samane at least once. I'm a hundred percent convinced. Oh, love it. Very well. And you know, we can talk about this stuff forever. 
I'm I sure I'm sure like we could go forever. So if you ever want to get back on the podcast and do something specifically around vaginal flora, we should do that. That would be so fun. Totally um, that. But you can find us at samainehealth.com for those of you who are like, what the heck is Samain? S-E-M-A-I-N-E. And it is a French work word for the week. And the reason why we named our company Samain is because um, a euphemism in France for your period is Samain Ketchup or Ketchup Week. And we thought that was so cute. And also the fact that our bodies are cyclical. Even when you're no longer having a period, if you've hit perimenopause and menopause, our bodies are still cyclical bodies. And we really wanted to highlight that in our name. So you can find us on Instagram at Samain Health, on TikTok at Samain underscore health. Um, uh, but to buy us, SamainHealth.com or Thrive Market or Walgreens or Target.com. Um, or my and- Amazon storefront. Yeah, Amazon. Barry's oh. Amazon storefront. Store I, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a new thing I did. I put, um, I put together an Amazon yeah. storefront just for like period stuff. Samain is literally yes. for oh. her first flow, for a light and moderate flow, for a heavy flow, period essentials. Samain's there. It's oh, my gosh. It's green probiotic. It's not linked, so... So oh, so it. the reason we don't have the pre-pro up yet is we still have an exclusive with Thrive Market. So that is oh. being sold on Thrive Market, but um, you can also after get it on our website as well. I'll yeah, link it right now. Website for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I normally have like two wrap up questions. Uh, hold on. Oh, what is one thing you're doing to support your period, whether it be the period of life you're in or your actual period right now? I feel like everybody's going to be like, we already know they take some in. Like, okay, <laughs> they take all their products. That's great. Yes, I would say, I would say definitely yes, taking my supplements. But since that's the easy answer, um, as we were talking about earlier, since I see this as like coming out of a menstrual phase, like trying to support myself mentally as much as physically. So supplements, physically, diet, physically, that kind of thing. Mentally, meditation, for sure. Um, that has helped me. Meditation and breath work, definitely dependent on that. Um, and, you know, I have a tendency to like kind of peter off when I don't need it and then bring it back in when I need it. And the year of 2023 is when I'm going to be consistent with it. That is so good. That is so good. I am so impressed. Uh, Kath is still the meditating queen. I have not gotten there yet. But I will say um, part of that, I think, because our 2021, 2022 was challenging, it is grounding myself and letting myself feel the truth of my feelings. Um, Mm -hmm. And that has really helped uh, in this transition phase, um, because my reaction is to want to just power through and get the hell away from the tough times. Um, but really being able to sit with those feelings and then sort of ground myself through that and not get stuck there, um, has been, has been really important for me now. And is also really important as somebody with endometriosis because, um, pain is hard, you know, and, um, I think being able to acknowledge where your body is and then find ways and tools to support you through that is key. So beautifully said, friends. Okay. Aww. Also, I'm gonna have to have you guys back on the podcast to talk about expanding your teams. That was one of the things I wanted to ask you about. Was like, yes. how did that like what happened? How did it happen? But like I also feel like that's another tangent we'll go on. Well, so- we can do we can do vaginal flora and we can do team <laughs> expansion. Yeah. We can do entrepreneur right. updates. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you want to leave the girlies with today? Um, oh, that's such a good question. I I don't know. Just, you know, what I love to tell people too, is that on our chat, on our website, if you ask questions, that's Kath and I at the other end. It's so important for us to make sure that Samain is an empathetic brand and that you are talking to the co-founders when you are asking questions and getting in touch with us, even as we hire and grow like that, it's still so important for us to be the touch point and to make sure people feel like Kath was saying heard and feel that empathy from us. Cause we totally understand where you're coming from. We've been there and we're here to help you through it. Maybe give me like 12 to 24 hours to answer your email, but I, I will respond. <laughs> you're, you're pretty good with email. I feel like everyone has enjoyed this. So thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful for you all. Thanks so much, Barry. Thanks for having us. Likewise, Barry. Thank you. I really hope you all enjoyed today's episode with Samane, specifically with Lar and Kath. And I know it was a bit of a longer episode and one that went over, like we just went all over the place in this episode, but like 
that's because these people are people I genuinely trust and I I can say that we have grown so much together like they kind of started at the same time that I was starting and we have very similar experiences with navigating through COVID and going through like really exponential growth and all those things. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Just a reminder, if you want to shop any Semaine product, you can use the code BERRY20 at checkout, especially on your first purchase. I think it's only applicable to your first purchase, um, but maybe we'll get lucky and I'll be able to get you a discount code for multiple purchases. Regardless, as always, I'm sending you big love and flowy vibes, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey friend, if you enjoyed today's episode, can you do me a solid and leave a rating and review? And if you have some friends going through a different period of life where they want a little bit more peace, or perhaps they just want a better period, make sure you share this with them. Because here, we're all about having a period and a life, an enjoyable one at that. As always, I'm seeing big love and flowy vibes. Thank you.